All right, everyone. So Tom Brady, his first game he will announce is going to be between the Dallas Cowboys and the Cleveland Browns. Now, during the announcement of it, he also took somewhat of a shot at Dak Prescott. So we're going to show you that clip right now. I know you've been waiting to call your first game. Yeah. And I got a little something for you, man. I got some, some big news. It's actually, it's huge news because I have a little something that you don't even know. The NFL schedule isn't out yet, but I know a little something about your first game. Are you going to tell me? Um, maybe I will. You want to know? I want to know. You, you want to know? Damn right I want to know. All right, drum roll, please. <laughs> for the first time in five years, the NFL on Fox opens with the Dallas Cowboys. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be your first game. And also, another thing, week one is back to being an exclusive doubleheader window for Fox. So how do you like that news? You get to the Cowboys it. first week. Amazing. Obviously, having the Cowboys on is a huge draw. As America's team, that's going to get a little hard for me to say that all the time. Understand, they were the competition for a long time. But in this new role, I know the Cowboys, how important they are to this network, they got great storylines. Come on, Dak Prescott, let's see if he can finally come through. One of the great defensive players. <laughs> Did that just slip out? <laughs> Micah Parsons, what a great player he is. And, uh, and Coach McCarthy. So I love covering them. I've been obviously going against them for a long time, and now yep. I get to tell everyone how great they are. Oh. <laughs> I already like what you're doing, man. I already like it. All right, so this is, you know, I think in some ways kind of a big deal because if Brady is to succeed in this announcing role, he's going to have to give the type of Romo or even Belichick what we've seen, the, that type of insight on the game. And even this little shot, right, if I was a Cowboys fan, I'd take that and I'd be like, okay, so when this guy's announcing our game, Let's keep in mind that this is what he thinks of our quarterback and our team. And it might be 100% true, right? I mean, certainly the Cowboys have had their share of playoff struggles, but it's not lost in a lot of people that this Cowboys team eliminated Tom Brady from the playoffs just a few years ago, right? I don't think that's lost on people. And, you know, I just hope, because I think Brady has the ability to be super good in his announcing, that he kind of understands what the fans are looking for from him, right? And that is, you know, kind of what, like what Romo did when he first came in, which was this X's and O's, right? This extreme understanding of the game. And you've already seen this with Bill Belichick, where Belichick, people are loving what he's doing, not necessarily because he's, you know, is the most funny guy or he has some hot takes. It's the opposite, right? It's because he's very game oriented and he can, teach it to people who are watching on a level that they've never understood before. And I think Brady has that ability, but he has to make sure he can fill that void and he has to do that. Right. And it's not to say this is a big deal because it's not. And I think this is just one of those things that a lot of people love to hate the Cowboys and it's true. So they say it, but I just hope, you know, that Brady understands that what fans are looking for from him are that type of, and it doesn't mean you you're boring, right? You got to, kind of mix the two, right? Very, give people something different in terms of, you know, a deeper understanding of the game while also adding the excitement factor. So we'll see. I just thought this was an interesting clip. So thank you all for watching. We'll see you next.